Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. As always, I'm the Inverted Shadow. And I'm Shadow Below 7. And why is it again that we people were saying we should play this? I don't know. You can use the skip button to fast forward through text you've already read. Okay, nice. Sweet. Okay, so when we last left off, we finished our first poem, and now we're still talking to the girls. Yeah, so... <clears throat> I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not... It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. All right, I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Is it too late to say I would prefer to read with somebody else? Mm. I had to! Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Uh, yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've really never, never done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. Huh. Bit of a... What's the word I'm looking for, eh? Uh... On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. Well, at least she's neat about it, right? Yeah. Excuse me one second. There we go, it took me a moment to realize my microphone peaked again. Not sure why. <laughs> Weird. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. So, what exactly did we write? Oh. Who should I show my uh, poem to first? Uh, Yuri? Um, why not? I mean, we did get the most prompts for her in the poems, yeah. so... Yuri first. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start... <clears throat> so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Right? Mm -hmm. Hmm? As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh? Uh, what was that? Uh? D did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I... Uh... He's going to hate me. Um... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Huh? That's... I... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? You use your imagery of metaphors in the case you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Mm. Well, I know that. I just meant... Um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there were... S oh, sorry. Take your time. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself... I kind of learned to pick up on them. 
I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Are we actually even going to see this poem we wrote? That would be very nice. Perhaps. I would hope so. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is both that the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can't be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even, even a simple one. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the, the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you a valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um... Well... Never mind. Mm. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to, his, apologizing to herself or to Natsuki. Okay, so what exactly did she mean by biased? I don't know. We already know Natsuki's a bit of a soon soon, so, uh. <coughs> yeah. <sighs> oh boy. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay, so this is her poem. Yes. Now, a, a bit of a tip that I remember from that my friend Geshro was telling us is to read everything in this game. Absolutely. Do you want me to read, or do you want to read? Oh, well, I don't mind reading it either way. Speaking of which, right. I believe I also forgot to pull up the game files because that's another tip that he told me for some reason is to is that apparently this game messes about with the files or something. Weird. Have you ever heard of a game that does that, Shadow? No, I haven't. This is very weird. I don't know why he would tell us that. Anyways, Ghost Under the Light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calmly breathing out air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Huh. That's pretty nice, Yuri. Yeah. I like it. Uh... I... I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Uh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem, obviously. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Implying that we wouldn't be capable of reading a longer reel of text. Not sure. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Shadow. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than a tell a simple story, or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. That is surprisingly deep for a poem. Yeah. And soon to be left with nothing. <sighs> Creepy. Very. Oh, this says it perfectly. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. 
That's impressive. Huh? It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Again, it would be nice if we could see the poem we wrote. Yeah, please. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Shadow. Uh, me too. Lily! It's gonna be fine! Again, paranoid! Don't judge me! Mm. Okay, so who should we sew next? Sayori, Natsuki, or Monica? Mm, Sayori? Oh, let's think for a moment. We could do that, then we said how Natsuki was biased of the more of, of the group, so, hmm. Wanna go to her first? May as well. We could always use a tough critic afterwards. Alright. Alright, Monica. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer! Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <laughs> Painful to think about? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you better. Uh, but you're better off just trying up. Uh, fair enough. Both to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Soon, soon. <clears throat> Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, yes, that's it. Okay. Yeah, I told you you weren't gonna like it. I do like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. Well, she's not wrong. Yeah. I know where fact I had to go through my share of writing hardships when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Uh, that is also kind of valid. True. Envy much? Yep. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up the rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring up the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. But you learned something. Didn't expect me. Bleh. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. So, Sayori or Monica now? Not sure, and can we pause for a minute? Oh yes, of course, of course. And we'll be right recording. back, folks. Sorry about that minor technical difficulties, so... Yep. Okay, so who next, Sayori or Monica? Mmm... Sayori. Why not? She is our friend in this game, after all. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. This is a good poem, Shadow. Well, of course you think that. You're our friend. Hmm. Also, that short hair and happy demeanor. Don't Couldn't she remind you, you of someone else? Shadow? Hi, Sayaka! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> How many are times you sure are you going first? to make this fucking comparison? I've got one more. Uh, are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who will be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you just wrote one. It just reminds me of how you really put a part how you really are part of the club now. Not to mention the fact I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Again, not too much of an error because we were essentially brought here against our will. Pretty much. Uh, uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Shadow. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things like this for other people. That's something that only real good people can do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Again, that because she dragged us here. Yeah. We'll keep beating that in. In. Don't worry. <laughs> no matter how much. much this means to her and all. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. All right. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, here's a longer one. Yeah, that's what you asked for, isn't it, Shadow? Yes. <clears throat> Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. That's kind of cute. Yeah. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> what? Look, <laughs> wow. That took a rather sharp turn into what? Okay. Well, then again, we are hungry, so. Yeah. Whatever. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? Oh, ho, ho. Busted. No! J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Hmm. Well, at least this makes me feel a little better about myself. No kidding, I can't be the only one here who's kind of half-assed an assignment in class to try and get it done on time. I know, right? I th I'm sure we're both guilty of it. Yep. You tired there? Just yawning. Alright. <clears throat> Don't be mean! I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or... How should I put it... It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Toast? Toast? Toast. And eggs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Egg with Mac, play us off there, or whatever the hell the name of that guy is. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, toast! <laughs> yeah, toast! Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. Again, you're not wrong. It's the most important meal of the day. Yep. I want me my bacon. I want my pancakes. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. The next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Oh, dear. I'm not looking forward to this. Are you, sister? I'm scared. As am I. Let's so now, do it. Now we got to show to the head of the club herself. Oh, boy. Also, doesn't Monica look also familiar? Don't you dare! 
Hi, Kyoko! No! Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, I'm glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Sounds just like me. I'd rather keep my mouth shut than get involved in shit. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Anyway... Wanna share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Again, no sign of our poem! What is the deal here, game? I know, come on! <laughs> Hang on, before we go on, what is- look at that pose! Is that natural? How do you mean? I don't know, something about it just seems... weird. She's done it before! I don't know, this is like my first time noticing it, I don't know. I could've sworn she'd done the last playthrough. Maybe I'm just forgetting things, as this game is not really giving me- uh, <clears throat> This game isn't really giving us much to work with, because it's pretty... Normal, basically. I'm pretty sure that happened in the last playthrough. Yeah. Don't worry, Shadow. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Shadow. How it's going? Ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. But what did we write?! Yeah, show us, please! Goodness gracious! I guess I underestimated you. It's, it's easiest, easiest for me to for keep me everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very See, fair. Ag again with that pose! She does that every time she's exceptionally happy. I'm off put by her. See, now you now you see it, don't you? I know, but still. Again, we have to point this out because this game is pretty much giving us jack shit to work with. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, why is it again that people were saying this game is so all kinds of fucked up? See, so far it's just proven to be just your average n visual novel sort of game. I, I you know you you know you say that now, but that's gonna bite you in the ass. You realize that, right? I'm I'm taking the risk this time because, quite frankly, I don't see what the deal with this game is. Your funeral. Whatever. <laughs> well, I guess it worked either anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. That's my kind of writing. Mm -hmm. unlike, unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Ah. Oh. There's something to remember when we do our next poem. Yes. So, Sayori likes happiness and sadness sorts of words. And like using simple and direct words. And then Yuri likes depressing sorts of things. Symbolism. Mm-hmm. Yuri, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel. Or letting them deeply analyze all the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has it has at has at this point. I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm, I'm sure, sure I'll, I'll end, end up, up trying different things a lot. S sorry, I think I would take the main character's voice. Sorry. <laughs> I know, no, I, I keep getting confused. Sorry. No worries. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you to f I'll always help you find what suits you the most. Again, why is this game reading us like books? Because I I am always very self-conscious about my work and figuring out what works and what doesn't, you know? I just want to know what the hell we wrote! Seriously, goodness gracious Maloney, why are you not showing us what we wrote? So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. 
Th <laughs> there, there it is again! It's yeah. gonna bite us in the ass, isn't it? I don't know. Again, I hold no punches with this. This is fairly, fairly normal so far, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Are you going to let us read ours? Please? My lord. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Holy crap, this is a long one. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No! I can't see. I reel. Blind. Like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. What? I'm confused. As am I. Is she writing about somebody? Who? That's Us? I... No. Nah, it couldn't. Nah. No. Can't be us. It can't be. We're, we're only this new in the club. Why would she have a thing for us already? Even though I... we're the only guy. I don't know. Let's just move on. Yeah. <clears throat> so, what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not the right. Real, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Oh, yes, we'd love to know. Yes, please. Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Define epiphany, please. Excuse me? This... Let's continue, Monica. Yeah. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah. Something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Coming on strongly, eh? Mm hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd say this girl is, uh. <laughs> yes? I'm gonna re -hold my withdraw my thoughts for now. She's smitten with you, isn't she? I wouldn't want to imagine. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Hmm. True words. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening. All right. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Well, my writing shit either way in this game or not, so that's not really too much of a comparison. Even so, I want to know what we've written! I don't think we're going to get to read it, Shadow. Bitch! I know. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. 
Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes light on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Uh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up! That was the message? I thought it was just about animals. What? I don't get it. Me either. Shut up, dogs. Hi, puppies. How can that be cute? I I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out that nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Shadow did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change any time soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Ugh! And Shadow liked my poem, too, you know? Why you gotta put us on a spot like this, girls? I know. Yeah. He even told me he was impressed by it. Did we? We did? Did we? I've already forgotten. I think we did. Oh dear, I... I sense... something bad is going to happen now. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Uh... Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that's not what I... Uh... Y you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Shadow appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Hey, hey, don't be dragging us into this. Yeah, we didn't do anything. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would be de I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do out overly cutesy. Ooh. Burn! Ugh! Um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who, whose booze magically grew a size bigger as soon as Shadow started showing up. What? Huh? I have several questions. I don't know. And already I can hear the fetish just banging our door down now. Just keep, pr just keep pressing. God damn it, game. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little. <laughs> this doesn't involve you! <sighs> Can we play that scene from Black Lagoon, please? Stay the fuck out of this! Or I could do that. Great idea. I don't like fighting guys! Suddenly, both girls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Shadow? She. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of men making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out of the reader, not force him to have to figure it out. Help me explain it to her, Shadow! Wait... There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. 
Avoiding them is not only necessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Shadow? Um... Well? <laughs> How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with will probably think more highly of me. <laughs> oh god, we really have to choose? Ah. Uh... We could just easily call for Sayori, so, um... Eh. Help me, Sayori? I don't know... I, I, again, if I had to pick the two, I still like Yuri. She's my favorite. Fuck it. Go with the girl who apparently has the magic breasts. Yuri. Natsuki. You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait! That's not an excuse for you to be so mean! You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. Brody, <laughs> sir! Shots fired, bitch! Yeah, I went there. Because it's true. Yeah, exactly. That's not what happened at all! Yuri wouldn't even take me, my poem seriously! Hmm. I understand. Uh, Yuri. Huh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I... see. I did notice that I... I I'm sorry. <sighs> but Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, and this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Ugh! Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody is taking her aside. She's trapped, at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um... Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she, she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm gonna do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Baka. Ta! Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki... She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me right now. No, Yuri! How could anyone not, not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well... Alright, I believe you. Thanks, Shadow. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said... About... You know, I would never do anything so shameful, so... Eh? What thing did Natsuki say? Um... Um... Well, never mind that. She was talking about the breasts thing, wasn't she? Yep. Ugh. I'm gonna go make some tea. A good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How'd you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Shadow, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Then maybe you'll learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Uh, I think to myself, I 
did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. Whoop. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Shadow! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. <coughs> Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they are, they're both wonderful people. You don't... you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them! I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Shadow. It's nice that I could just spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone else is what makes me the happiest. I think everyone likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat her on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this! And another poem to write. Yay! Yay. I think we'll stop there for now. Yeah. Because quite frankly, this is quite a lot to be taking in. Yeah. So, again, sorry if we were not making this very interesting. Again, this game is kind of giving us jack to work with at the moment. Yeah, what's this all about, you guys? I don't get it. Why did you want us to play this? Or, well, better still, why is everybody talking about this? Again, we're going into this blind and we're not seeing what the big deal is. Yeah, um... Be sure you play the right game. I'm positive. I mean, I wasn't expecting much from a game called Doki Doki Literature Club, but even still, I was expecting something. Yeah, same here. So... I guess we'll have another poem to write, so I guess we'll see you next time. See you next time. Peace.